Right there guys, we've arrived here. Staying a bit quiet because I'm not sure if I'm allowed here, but oh well. He is bragging up. Basically, grab your worm and literally just threading it on. The way around. Nice big worm. So I'm looking for some bigger fish today, hopefully. Just in case of lobbing it out and waiting. Be a bit careful. We've got boats coming in and out of, out of here all the time, so we're constantly reeling in. First fish of the day. Feels alright. First bottom of the day. Pretty fish this one. Lots of reds and oranges in it. Let's get her back. Nice right, all the matter. We're repeating the process. I'm hoping for a nice chunky one. Most of the time I come here. The fish are pretty relentless to be fair, so it makes for a better fishing, more fun, especially when you're only fishing for an hour like I am today. Just waiting for this, waiting for this boat to go past. It's the only problem with this spot, but anyone that's new to using ragworm, you will know they've got a nice little set of pinches. I'm not sure if I'll get them out on camera, but there you go. They're never going to hurt you, but a lot of people freak out about them. But ah, it's fishing. Spot produces some pretty decent fish to be fair. You can catch them upwards of five pounds. And they put up a hell of a fight on a small small rug like this. Thank you. 
All the fish are stripping the bait, as always. Time to put a nice chunky fat one on. Hope for Mama Rocky to come back, so I'll smash him in the face. Make his day very bad. That's the kill zone right there. about this sort of fishing, you don't need nothing heavy. All you need is a 15 to 40 gram spin rod. Small multiplier, a small, small thick spool, little two or three thousand size reel. And that's it, you can have a great day. These fish will bite for hours. As you can see, they don't have to use your bait that. Boat is smoking quite bad. I don't know if you can see that. I think a bit more leakage is happening there. Alright, nice fat worm on there. Hopefully, Mama comes along and eats it. Apologise if there's any wind noise on the video, but some things you just can't help in Guernsey. We get a lot of wind. And days like this are very rare where we get a lot of sun like this. So. The fishing's always good when you're up. Little tiny fish there, it's supposed to be nicking my bait constantly. Another small wrasse. Different colours on this one. Sort of a camo. Oh, I definitely smashed him in the face. Oh. Right. Get another worm on. We're looking for them monsters. It's alright catching these small fish, but now and then you want to fight. Tell it's a nice day, the amount of boats that are coming in and out. Can't sit down for five minutes.
Another small fish. Tiny bit bigger than the last one, same sort of colours there. This one's more of a milder colour. Oh, this is it's another sort of rass. Another balan rass it is. But some nice colours on them. The camera doesn't really do them very much justice, but can only work with what we got. And you don't have to put a whole worm on like I'm doing. I'm just greedy and want the big fish, so. But you can break these in half and go for the smaller species, like small scorpion fish and smaller wrasse, cork wings, all that sort of stuff. If you're into the small multi-species or something, do recommend putting a smaller hook on though if you're going for them sort of fish, but the choice is yours really. pronounced colours on this one. Definitely smash that worm. Mm. What these basically feed on is the small crustaceans, anything they can really find on the bottom. And mainly stuff like crabs and shrimps, any sort of little worm. Occasionally you'll get them on the boat with some sand eels or something, anything like that. A bait. Okay, just wait for this for this big boat to leave. The smoking one it seems to be sorted now. Some lovely boats around here. basically cruising over the top. Hence the reason for the... Oh, got another boat coming out. And 
and this is uh, hence the reason for the platanosta. I keep my bait just above, just where they're going. The only problem is, there's a bit of a boat bloody madness for that. Come on, get out of here. Alright, we're right in the kill zone now. Hopefully we can get Mama Rocky to come along. Good account on himself with the first initial strike, but a little bit better than what we're having though, that's for sure. Taking a little bit of drag, my drag's always set fairly tight to be honest. Oh no, different species of the dad. Ah, this is a welcome surprise. This is what you call a black green. Check that fat boy out. Yeah. He loved that big ragworm. And he got smashed straight in the face. Happy days. Usually I take this sort of fish home and harvest it, but today I'm only fishing for an hour, so he's a lucky one. Ah, it's a welcome surprise that fish like that are there. Hope for some more different species. Or even that big rocky I'm after. But yeah, like I was saying, all the small rocks and stuff around there, this place is ideal for multi-species, the smaller sort of, like I was saying, the cork rings, the, uh, the small scorpion fish, anything like that. But you, you'll only be fishing with tiny little pieces, sort of an inch long, if that. That's why you'll get them. And like I say, ragworm will catch anything. Especially in Guernsey. We have a massive array of species over here, so yeah, anyone that watches from uh, abroad or anything, you're ever looking to come to Guernsey, try and find some ragworm, little paternoster and you'll you'll catch. Boats coming in and out. Nice to know some de decent fish in here. It's the first bream I've ever had in here before. Bit of a darker fish, this one. They're proper camoed up. Some of these can be a luminous green almost. They are, you get reds, pinks, all sorts of colours. And there's another species called the cuckoo wrasse, and they're the very pretty ones. 
you get bright blues and greens and oranges and like I say, it's, they're like little rainbows basically. But I don't tend to catch them around here too often, so that's the one of them. But happy, we've got two species so far, which uh, I was only targeting one, and that bream was a lovely bream, so hope for the best. Bites are pretty constant. As soon as it hits the bottom, you'll start getting tapped. But mainly small fish, just gotta wait for them for the big fish to try to come through. I've got another boat coming just as we get a bite. Typical. Just shows. How fast your bait gets smashed by these things. That was an absolute chunk of a bait. And that's just been stripped straight down to the hook. So all I do is just top it up. These fish ain't fussy. You don't need to start putting fresh, clean, neat baits on and all that. Get half a rag. Oh, sorry. Half a rag and just whack it on. Thread it on, make sure it can't come off too easy. Because these fish are they used to smashing up crabs and stuff, so a little worm like this is nothing to them. It's just like a piece of bread, so let's just hope. <laughs> That's the cat. Come on. These species are perfect. We're going out with small children as well. So we're going to teach cat something. And they're not going to get bored. in the face but there we go That's a bigger version of the smaller ones we've been catching you'll hear me calling them rockies but their real name is Ballon Rass this sort of species that I'm after we've got many different rasses that I'm going to but this is my this is the primary big one that you're gonna get so this is one that I target quite often and this is just a fun hours fishing you know you go out get a few worms doesn't cost you much you can even dig them yourself but that'd be another that'd be another video that I do for sure. Just how to dig them and where. But for now, we're looking for the one that's double the size of the one I just caught. That's what I'm looking for. Or even another nice bream would be nice. Just bream, they're great fighters. They're more of a head banging sort of thing. And the Rockies are more plunged to the bottom, you know, they're they're doggy. 